Hey guys, Sarah here. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a little chatty get ready with me doing this look. It's kind of been my go-to recently, so if you're interested in that, keep watching. And if you're new here, don't forget to subscribe before you leave so you don't miss any of my future videos. All right, let's get into it. Per usual, I will link every single item that I am wearing, my jewelry, my clothing, all the things down below in the bottom bar in case you're looking for them. And just to let you guys know, this video is definitely going to be long and rambly and talking about a wide array of topics. So buckle in, grab a snack, grab a tea or a coffee or a zip fizz if you are me, and let's get ready. All right, starting out, I'm going to go in with my Derma E Vitamin C Concentrated Serum. I've been using this for maybe like a month or so, maybe longer than that, I don't know. Time has just been flying. <laughs> I feel like time is partially just deleted like how is it july i feel like nothing has happened in three months and now the year is halfway over it's crazy so i can't see because i i store this laying down and it's kind of milky i've gone through about that much of it so however long it takes to get through that much on an almost everyday basis is how long i've been using it and then i'm going in with the good molecules daily brightening serum I started using both of these around the same time. I'm trying to get better at doing my daily like morning skincare routine under my makeup because for the longest time I just did an evening skincare routine and I'm 33, I need to step up my game and do all the things I can do to take care of my skin. I also have been breaking out right here. I think it's because over the weekend, um, I got like just regular spray sunscreen. I was trying to put it on and I think I got the bottom of my face and I'm broken out. So I don't use just typical sunscreen on my face because I am acne prone. So that just does not do it for me. So yeah, I'm definitely broken out right here, which is annoying. I actually, if I don't mention the product, every single item will be linked below. If you're interested in knowing what I use, I feel like it's really hard for me to talk, talk about the products, and then also talk about something else all while doing my makeup, so bear with me. But this is one of my favorite moisturizers, especially for the summertime, the Origins Original Skin Matte Moisturizer, just because it is a little bit more matte, and um, in the summer, I'm so oily. So this is really, really nice. One of the things I really wanted to do before our wedding was fix my skin, and just don't think that's gonna happen because of the state of the world back in like February I started doing research on um, different types of chemical peels that you can get that help with uh, just spot I have a lot of acne scars and just dark spots I think from getting Sun throughout my life and I really wanted to get rid of them and do a chemical peel and just kind of like refresh my skin because I don't, minus this right here, I don't have a ton of active acne anymore because I do everything I can to avoid it, but I do still have scarring, which is really, really annoying because I wanna be able to go without foundation and feel confident, and I'm not there right now. So I had this whole vision in my head of us being on our honeymoon somewhere international this year without makeup on so none of those things are going to happen but i do want to fix my skin sooner rather than later so hopefully if i do some sort of a chemical peel i will take you guys along on that because i've been so curious about it and i know depending on what one you do um it can take like two weeks for your entire layer of skin to like peel off and regenerate. I've been using this primer lately. It's from Laura Mercier. It's a pure canvas primer protecting. It has SPF 30 in it. So this is like step one of my sunscreen. I, I do sunscreen basically every single day. I'm not as good about it in the winter, but in the summer I definitely am. I don't want my face to get any sun. That's always my goal. And my face is actually much lighter than my body is right now, which I like. I know that sounds crazy because I don't match, but the sun is seriously the fastest ager on earth. So if I can stop that as much as possible, I will. The hair had to go back. I watch all these girls do their makeup with their hair down and I, 
I just don't understand it. It's the same thing with working out with your hair down. It makes no sense in my brain. I don't know how they do it, but all the power to them or you if you can do that. I'm going to use, I hope this matches my shirt, the A Cosmetics um, Oil Free CC Cream. Um, this one is the matte version. It's almost gone and I have it in nat neutral medium. This shade is darker than my face skin, but it more matches my body skin. Does that make sense? I asked you guys on Instagram what you wanted me to talk about in today's video, and the topics were so widespread. It was insane. So I'm just gonna, <laughs> gonna go through them and I guess kind of choose a couple of them because there's no way that we're gonna talk about all of those things in one video. So let me pull that up really quickly. Some of them are also just really like long answers. Um, someone asked how I started my business. Um, that I have talked about this so many times and I feel like I'm that person with broken promises and I don't wanna be that person. I've talked about starting a business focused channel on how to start your small business, all the mistakes I've made, all of that. And if I'm being 100% transparent right now, I think the reason that I have not started it, I actually just had this conversation with my sister last week. Um, I think the reason that I haven't started it is because I have major imposter syndrome. So I don't feel like I am at the point in my business that I want to be yet. And so it feels inauthentic to share, not even inauthentic, but it seems like I'm not qualified to tell you anything because I don't have millions of dollars in the bank yet. Hopefully I will at some point. Um, and so it feels like I am not qualified to give you that advice, but we had this whole conversation about it last week and she was like the thing is that so many of these people talk about building a business but they've built a business on how to build a business but they haven't actually built a business okay that is so confusing hopefully you follow along followed along with that but there are a lot of people who are like business coaches who don't actually have experience with their own business their experience is building other people's businesses. So I I do want to start it. It's going to happen. I have almost everything set up for it, like the actual channel, and I have a very long list of videos to do. So if you have a request about some aspect of business, leave it in the comments so that I can put it on the list of things to talk about. But when I do that, I'm going to have it be very transparent and share all of my mistakes and try and hope, help you guys not make the same mistakes that I have made because there have been a lot. I'm on a roll of using things that match my shirt. Totally not on purpose. Anyway, long story short of that answer is that that is way too long of a question for me to just give you an answer. Um, but I will address all of those things when I get that channel up, which I am hoping it will be very soon. Someone asked if there is a puppy in my future and the answer is no. I am actually not a dog person. We had a dog when I was very little and they ended up having to put her down because she got really mean in her old age and was biting people and she had fleas and I was a baby and so apparently I had flea bites all over me as like a very young kid laying on a blanket. I don't remember that. I don't know if it's somewhere in my subconscious, um, but there was also a dog at the end of my parents' street growing up and it chased me down the street a couple times as a kid. And so I'm actually scared of dogs. <laughs> um, not really small dogs that I feel like I could handle, but large dogs I am very, very scared of. So. There are not dogs in my future. <laughs> Another one of the requests was to talk about how I manage the pressure to keep up with other bloggers, or maybe it was for her to keep up with bloggers and their purchases. I think in general, their purchases and lifestyle. This is one of those topics that I think is sensitive for a lot of people. Um, I, 
I know that there's a lot of people who don't like to watch certain types of videos like hauls and you know just videos in general of things that they cannot afford which I totally understand but it is your sole responsibility just like it's my sole responsibility to know what I can and cannot afford and that's just life. I think that as somebody who puts out content I'm sharing what's out there in case you're in the market for it but if I'm sharing this tank top which I love this tank top and I will link it below for you but you're not in the market for a tank top that is this style then you shouldn't be spending your money on it so I think that there's pressure to buy things even if you don't need them that is self-inflicted I don't think that any blogger I think as a follower you're taking it in as bloggers are saying you need all of this when in reality bloggers buy more stuff than they need because they're sharing things for a wide audience they're not sharing things that every single individual needs they're sharing options for the season or from a store or for a gift guide or whatever that piece of content is it's not saying you need all of these things so i think keeping that in mind and i also just think being honest with yourself is so important there's a lot of things that i would love to have that i cannot afford to have and that's okay like maybe someday i will be able to afford it maybe someday i will not um but or maybe if I can, I won't even want those things anymore. I don't know. But I don't think that you should feel pressure to keep up with anyone because content creators are creating content for the masses, not just for themselves. And if what you're talking about is them sharing a purchase that they did for themselves, like their new house or their new car or whatever, um, those things are, I don't know. A lot of times I would never buy that car because I don't care that much about cars. So somebody having a nice car doesn't affect my life. They can drive whatever the heck they want to drive. It all goes back to that saying that I absolutely love that comparison is the thief of joy. I don't really, they're in a different space and there's a road that I used to go down all the time where I felt like people my age were so much farther ahead in their lives than I was but the reality is that had I met my person earlier in life and we were sharing our bills and all of those things for the past 10 years it's much easier to save money that way and you know there's everyone has their own journey so um I think comparing yourself to somebody else's journey isn't fair. Basically, I think that you shouldn't feel pressure to buy things because you really have to keep in mind that that is their job. They are writing these things off. When I buy makeup, that's a tax write-off for me. It is If I buy clothing and I do a try-on haul with it, that is a tax write-off. These are things that are for my job. And when you're watching these people, it's their job too. So you definitely have to keep that in mind. They're not just buying all these things because that's what is normal. That's not normal. Lots of questions about life post 75 hard. And I am on day, let's see, 160. Today will be 166 of working out every single day in a row. I have an Apple Watch, which I'm sure you guys have seen a million times in my videos, but I have closed all of my rings since January 24th which is the day before I started 75 hard I started it on January 25th so this is my activity work that's today uh, so I have continued the workouts although I am not doing two 45 minutes workouts with one being outside I'm doing one workout of whatever I want it to be sometimes it's inside sometimes it's outside this week it's supposed to be 90 every single day and so I did inside workouts um, yesterday and the day before I will probably do that today although it is supposed to rain so maybe it'll cool down this evening but yeah I I've kept up with the workouts I drink a ton of water naturally in the summer I'm I'm just a big water drinker anyway but especially after being used to drinking a gallon every single day one thing that I have been loving to do recently is put a little bit of my blush 
on my nose i feel like it gives a like sun-kissed look almost like you got a little sunburn or like you just came in from being out on the sun i just think it's such a like really really pretty healthy summery look so that is kind of like my current makeup thing that i've been loving to do and i'm going to go in with my highlight uh anyway i have definitely kept up with some of it i haven't kept up with all of it but i am definitely going to do 75 hard again i want to do it maybe every year i just think it was like the best thing ever for me and um, I'm already excited to do it again. I don't know when that will be. I actually want to do it right now, but I don't have 75 days left before our wedding and I am absolutely going to have a drink on my wedding day. I bought this giant thing of the Milani Make It Last Setting Spray. Um, I think they only sell it online, but I saw it and I was like, that makes way more sense because I fly through the little bottles of them. one of the most frequent questions that i get asked in this on instagram just now and also just in general like on a weekly basis is how i have been so positive and motivated through this entire situation and i will say that i was feeling way more positive and motivated earlier on than i am now i'm like getting to a point that i I'm not as motivated. I feel like my creativity has completely crashed and uh, it's really hard to continue creating content, which you guys have seen. I have not been posting as many videos. I just feel like I don't even have ideas for videos. Uh, I, yeah. <laughs> so I think everyone goes through trying to figure out what that looks like for them. Um, and spurts of motivation and spurts of feeling like garbage or feeling unmotivated or whatever that is so I'm trying not to beat myself up for it I highly recommend you don't beat yourself up for it either we're living in very weird times and um, it's a lot to navigate I think all of us have a lot of anxiety right now um, and just a lot of unknowns I was in New York last week visiting my sister because she had her baby back in March and I had not been able to meet him yet, her second baby. Um, and it was finally at a point that we knew we had both been safe and not seen anyone and so we drove there and stayed with them. And she was saying that although she hasn't had, I guess like, she had her baby at the beginning of March so right before all of this happened but my mom was in town helping her and then she had to leave early and so she didn't get as much help and time with my mom after having the baby and although she didn't have like trips planned or anything like that she's totally feeling this like the fact that I wasn't able to come in and meet her baby, the fact that my mom wasn't there to help for as long as she was intending to, the fact that she hasn't really been able to get out of the house and kind of like feel like herself again, she's been working remotely, like there's just so many things in her adjusting to her life as this new normal and then also during a pandemic. So I think everyone, no matter what your situation is, whether you're a bride or you are just living your life and you had vacations canceled or you just want to see your friends it's every single person is going through something right now and that being said i think everyone handles things differently and i at the beginning i think i just didn't think it would last that long and so it was easy for me to just continue on and put one foot in front of the other and i think i'm still doing that to a point i'm still working really really hard on my businesses i just have not been posting as many videos partially because I have been so busy with my jewelry company with Love Sarah, which I will link it down below. This necklace is from there, which I absolutely love. Um, but I've been really, really busy with that. And on top of that, I just don't have a ton of creative energy right now. So I feel like I have not been posting as much on here because I'm just like 
at capacity. If you're finding yourself in a rut right now, I highly suggest spending some time figuring things out of like what you love to do, spending time doing those things, enjoying the simple things and readjusting your expectations. I think that when we're expecting things to be a certain way and then they're not that way, we're more disappointed than if we change our mind about it. So as far as like the social aspect, I feel like I'm pretty okay right now. I certainly miss my friends. I miss like hugging people. I miss all of that, but I know that our summer social life is not going to go as planned and so I've readjusted my expectations of it that we're just not going to be social this summer. And so when we do something like we met up with my one of my best friends and her husband over the weekend at the sandbar on my parents lake because they live on the lake and so do my parents and so we just met up we were outside we were at the sandbar we kept our distance um that's kind of one of those like extra perks it feels extra special because it's something that we just haven't really been doing lately and so something that last summer would be just a normal thing that I would expect to do. Now it feels like something special to do because we're not doing it. So I think changing your brain and your expectations is really, really good. Have any of you guys laminated your eyebrows? I wanted to do it a while back and then never got the opportunity. And now I kind of want to try it at home. Let me know if you've tried it because I feel like my brow hairs, even with like the best gel in the world they do not stay put so i'm curious if laminating them would work and i know that you can do it with those lash lift kits that they sell on amazon so i'm curious about it and i really 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 want to try it so let me know down below if you've had it done and what you thought of it and if you would like to see me try it on video because i'm more than happy to do that all right, let's talk about wedding planning. <laughs> that is like the most requested topic I feel like ever when you guys are asking me questions. Uh, so I don't know if I've said it on here. I know I said it on my Instagram, but we did postpone our postponement. So we were supposed to get married next year on almost the same date. It was the same weekend as this year but we did postpone until 2022. So we've got a long while to figure out what we're doing for that wedding, but we are getting married on our original date this year. So uh, we are planning that wedding and I'm doing a full video sharing the planning process of the small backyard wedding. It's just going to be our parents and siblings, which equals out to, I think, 18 people. I'm trying to decide what I want to do here. I think I'm going to do this combo. This is the um, Plump Line Lip Liner in Dolly Danger. I'm just giving my eyeliner a little bit of a chance to dry down. And then this is Melon Mimosa in the Plumping Lip Cream. Anyway, I somehow tricked myself into thinking that we could just order food and then there'd be no planning when it came to this smaller wedding. I can't remember if I just said this or not, but I'm filming the entire process of planning it. That video will be up soon. I'm going to do two videos. I asked you guys yesterday on Instagram if you wanted to see a video soon-ish about what I did to plan and then when the wedding actually comes, how all of it is executed so i'm going to do two videos the first video up will be up hopefully soonish i ordered a bunch of stuff so i'm waiting for it to come in so that i can test out the tables and the decor and all of that uh, but we have a long while before we need to worry about the big wedding obviously so we're just focusing on the smaller wedding i think we are going to do a chef who will come, we're doing it in my parents' backyard, so the chef would come and cook for everyone there, obviously. And we're thinking that that's just the best option so that no, we're not doing the buffet with everyone touching and breathing on all the food. We're trying to do everything we possibly can to keep everyone safe. So um, that seems to be the best option for us, so I think that's what we're gonna do. We're going to talk to a couple of chefs this week and just see you know what's included and we we don't really know anything about it like do we provide the plates and the silverware or do they do that 
and yeah so we need to figure out all of those details we're going to talk to a couple of chefs this week and just get an idea of like menu options pricing um what's included all of that and then we we have our officiant my uncle is going to officiate we have the tent rental we have I'm trying to think we need to figure out a playlist so i don't know what song i'm going to walk down the aisle to or what song we're going to do our first dance to and i also am trying to figure out what to get adam for our wedding gift because we more and more we're, we're realizing that this is our actual wedding day and then the big wedding is a celebration so we are going to do a lot of like the typical wedding things this time around which i don't think that either of us were necessarily planning on doing until we thought about it more so we are going to exchange gifts so if you have any gift ideas leave them in the comments for me so that's kind of where we're at right now i will probably have the first video of most of the planning up in maybe like two weeks it depends on when i get all of the stuff that i've ordered but i have a vision for what i'm thinking i'll leave a photo here for you of what i'm thinking for kind of the tables my dad is building a wooden arch and then we're going to swag fabric on it and so that'll be where we get married and then we might use it depending on the size of it if it works for the big wedding too we might reuse it and then he's going to turn it into a table that we can use outside which is really awesome i feel like that'll be really special um, so the plans are coming together we just need to kind of like sit down and cross the rest of the stuff off the list so I will keep you guys updated but again I will have a full video on that very soon so I guess that is kind of everything that is going on as far as wedding planning at the moment uh, I will keep you guys updated per usual um, I feel like this video was all over the place in terms of topics and in just me rambling so hopefully you still enjoyed it even though I was all over the place and a rambling mess I feel like that's just how I have been recently in general this is like a true look at what life has been like all right this is the finished look I hope that you guys enjoyed this video again i know it was very rambly and all over the place in terms of topics um, but i do hope that you enjoyed let me know down below let me know how you're doing how you're holding up in this time i know that it's been different for everyone also let me know of any video requests that you have i have <laughs> just felt like I'm in such a rut so I am going to take your guys's requests and start pumping out those types of videos give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and don't forget to subscribe before you leave so you don't miss any of my future videos thanks so much for watching bye guys